Hey Sun Space Sun, I'm Daisy Victoria, and today we are going to be getting dressed in an 18th century gown. The dress I will be putting on today is based on 1780s fashion, and I'm going to show you all of the undergarments as well as the outer gown. So let's get right to it. First, we need the proper undergarments to form the base of this gown. I'm starting with a chemise. This garment provides a barrier between the skin and the other garments worn. Next up, we have what looks like a corset. This garment is known as stays. This is sort of the earlier version of what we now know as corsets, which are supportive boned garments worn underneath the outer gown or clothing. In period, these garments could have been boned with reeds or even baleen, which is a type of whalebone. This particular garment that I made is boned with a plastic made to mimic baleen, so it's like a synthetic whalebone. The stays here are made using my own pattern, which I do have available as a PDF file. Next, I have pockets. The pockets hang from a string which is tied around the waist. Next up is the padding for my bum. This is what makes the dress stand out bigger in the back. This particular bustle pad is made using the American Duchess Simplicity pattern, which I also used for the chemise. Next is the petticoat. There can be varying numbers of petticoats involved in 18th century clothing. For my particular dress, this is the only petticoat that I will be wearing. The petticoat ties on in two sections, the back and the front section, thus leaving openings at the sides so you can reach into those pockets. The petticoat is basically made from rectangles, which I shaped a little bit in the back to fit over the bum pad. And I actually made this out of an old bed sheet. And finally, we have the dress. This is based on an English dress style. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as a robe a la anglaise, which is a French term. I patterned this dress after one found in Janet Arnold's Patterns of Fashion. The original dress is from Snows Hill Manor, which is in England. The book Patterns of Fashion dates this dress to about 1775 to 1785. And my dress is made out of this beautiful fabric from my hometown of Ikea. And if you wanna know the inside joke about my hometown being Ikea, please check the video I will link below. This dress has an open skirt in the front so you can see the petticoat. In addition to closing up the front of the bodice, there is also a drawstring at the neckline which allows you to kind of draw it in perfectly. There are also slits on the side of this dress so you can reach through all the layers to get to those pockets. And finally, we have a hat. This hat is one that I modified from a basic straw hat and added some decorations that gave it that sort of 18th century look. Straw hats from this time tend to be rather flat on top and are sometimes quite decorated. I did make all of the pieces that you see me wearing here today. And if you're interested in how I made these garments, I've got you covered because I do have a playlist featuring all the videos about making all of these garments for this dress. And I will link that below for you. Mm -hmm. 
This dress is really comfortable, and I feel so beautiful when I wear it. I thought this botanical garden was perfect and really brought this dress to life. Please do note that the blue in my hair is my own fantasy addition to this. I kind of have a thing for colorful hair, and I thought it matched the dress because there was a lot of little blue details in the flowers. If you found some inspiration, you can tag me on social media. I'm Daisy Victoria everywhere. My website is daisyvictoria.com. And a special thank you to my patrons who help me so much to continue creating amazing content. I hope you all have an absolutely magical day and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.